Okay, do you wash the potatoes on the counter? Yeah. Hey, this uh, palm olive is good to wash the potatoes, right? Oh my gosh, Brandon, you're supposed to use water, not soap. You just go in there and sit down and I'll take care of this. Weaponized incompetence. Trying to call this comedy is making light of an issue that is serious. There is a stress gap between men and women. Compared to men, women are twice as likely to suffer from severe stress and anxiety. Married women do more housework than married men. When men and women marry each other, even if there are no kids in the picture, women do more housework than their partners, on average. Yes, even when they make the same as or more than their male partners. The only time you see that average shift is when women are the sole providers. Yeah, it's like this much, this much, he does a little bit more. Men have more free time than their wives. Even among teenagers, boys are spending more time on leisure than girls. Why isn't weaponized incompetence funny? Because it's oppressive. Because failing to do a good job on purpose makes you seem unreliable. Failing to do a good job on purpose is opting in to breaking their trust. It's setting up a situation without their consent to demand their time and energy. Your failure to put in a good faith effort leaves them no other choice but to overcompensate for you. When you use weaponized incompetence, you put your needs and interests above theirs. You remove their autonomy and choice. You take their time and energy and access to opportunities without their consent. Not funny.